Hey guys, it's Chase, and in this video, I want to cover a small topic about voltage injection on a circuit board. So let's take a look at this paper that I drew up just to kind of demonstrate and how you would inject voltage and how you would find a shorted circuit. Okay, so here we are with the paper that I drew up. This is just a mock circuit board or what you would find on a typical circuit board. So you have ground here. This is our ground plane. And then we just have our 12 volt rail. We're just going to call this 12 volts. This could be a 5 volt rail, 1.8 volt rail, 3.3, whatever you want it to be. This is our 12 volt rail just for the time being. So these blocks here are capacitors. This is how I'm going to demonstrate how voltage injection works and how you would find a shorted circuit. So just for this video, we're going to be using what these blocks are. We're going to imagine these are capacitors. Now, when you inject voltage, so imagine you take your multimeter probes, put your black probe on the ground, and you put your red probe on 12 volt rail, and there's continuity between ground and 12 volts, that means there is going to be a short. Somewhere, one of these capacitors has a short. Now there's two ways of really taking care of this. You could either remove each capacitor one by one until the short is relieved, or you can inject voltage with a voltage injection tool. Now the way this works is, we're going to connect our ground, right? And now, we turn the voltage injection tool on, okay? And then, on our positive rail, we're going to touch our shorted component that we found that was shorted, right? On the positive line, the positive side, we touch it, and if there is an amp draw here, that is a good sign because we found that there's a shorted component somewhere on this 12 volt rail, and there's amp draw. That means that where, whichever shorted component is drawing amps, now there are two ways to find that component that is shorted. Obviously I covered that you could remove each capacitor until the short is removed or you could use, a lot of people use alcohol um, on a component or on a capacitor or on an, a component that's shorted or however. Um, people put alcohol in the area, they apply the voltage to inject it and one of the components is going to get really hot and evaporate the alcohol very quickly. The other way, and I think is the best method, now it's the most expensive but it is the most practical method, is to use something like a thermal camera. Now we have a Seek thermal camera here, and we could check the board and see where the heat spot is. So we inject the voltage, we see the amps going up, and then we can see with our thermal camera which component is getting hot instead of having to remove every single one to find out where the short is because a voltage rail can have hundreds of components and then you'd be stuck all day removing capacitors checking for the short and you would just be wasting so much time versus buying yourself one of these voltage injection tools like I did from northridgefix.com and then we ended up buying this Seek thermal camera from T, T Equipment the whole thing is Voltage injection is not something too difficult to understand and it makes so much sense on a circuit board. Now this is a very simplified version of it, but this is voltage injection. So in short, that's how voltage injection works. Pretty cool, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could, leave a like down below and leave a comment. If you guys have any suggestions about voltage injection or any other questions, uh, just let me know. And if you guys have a device you'd like me to fix, my contact info is in the down below and my address as well. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.